All right, that was just my shredded chicken into my crock pot. I'm going immediately in with my cream of chicken family size soup for this delicious crock pot dinner. I'm going in with that entire can, just like so. You could also do a cream of onion, cream of mushroom. Speaking of mushrooms, I'm also gonna go in with my pieces and stem mushrooms right on top of our chicken and our cream of chicken. I love making this recipe once it starts to get cool outside. It's one of my favorites to make in the crock pot. I'm coming in with my diced new potatoes as well, right on top. You could also do like the little baby red potatoes, any kind of potatoes will work. I'm gonna come in with some freshly cut carrots. I love adding carrots to this recipe, just a nice little sweetness and great color. Of course, we cannot forget our onions right on top of our carrots. And then I have our celery as well. I did two stalks of cut celery just right into there. And then the last thing that I'm going to be adding, I have some of our sweet peas. Oh, look at how bright. I like to use the frozen peas. They don't have as much sodium and they add a lot of moisture. And then we all know I am a garlic girly. So we're going in with our minced garlic. This is a large crock pot. So I'm gonna go pretty heavy with that garlic right into our crock pot. Oh, if you could smell that, it smells super tasty. And then I'm gonna come in with our vegetable broth. Give that a nice shake before we go in with our veggie broth. And you can feel free to do kind of any combination of veggies here. I'm kind of sticking with like a pot pie vibe. Like I said, this is one of my favorites to make. My family and friends love this during the winter and even the fall. I think that looks pretty good. So I went in with that entire thing of our vegetable broth. Again, you could use a chicken broth, a beef broth. Now that we have everything in our crock pot, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir. We wanna make sure we break up that condensed soup. And I use the family size condensed soup because like I said, this is a large crock pot where you can see all that chicken as well. Kind of start to break up some of that shredded chicken. And I just found this shredded chicken on sale at Smith's. I mean, they were gonna toss it. So it was two bucks for each of those little guys. Oh, look at all those beautiful colors as well. And then if you wanted a little bit thicker of a soup or if you're doing this on the stove top, you can feel free to add some flour. But with this low and slow method and that condensed soup, this should come out the exact consistency that we are looking for. I think that looks pretty good. Move our lid off to the side. We're gonna grab our crock pot lid. Boop. And we're going to turn this on. I like to start low. So we can do low for a couple of hours and then we can kind of check in. All right, while well, our crock pot is crocking and potting, I'm just gonna go in with my puff pastry. Perfect. This is my favorite part of this recipe. I just wanna make sure that it's nice and stretched out. I'm gonna come in with my pizza cutter. What I'm gonna do, and these don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna go right down and start cutting little squares. Because I mean, what is pot pie without that flaky golden crust. And as you can see, I'm just cutting little squares. They don't have to be perfect, because once they go into the oven, you should be fine. Now that we have those cut up, I'm gonna bring in my little sheet pan, and we're gonna start to transfer those little puff pastry squares right onto our ooh, little greased pan right here. I'm gonna try and fit as many on there as possible. So we'll get these all layered into our sheet pan. All right, we have our last one right here. And then I'm gonna come in with just some melted butter. I use some unsalted butter and I'm gonna grab my little paintbrush. I'm just gonna gently go over with just some of that delicious melted butter onto our puff pastry, just like so. This part is totally optional for our crock pot recipe. And I always say, you know, need something a little crunchy to contrast our delicious. I'm gonna be using a lot of butter, but <laughs> that's all right. Never hurt anybody, but I'm just gonna gently kind of brush those because I want them to really puff up and be super brown. And then I'm gonna come in with my Italian seasoning. You could also do like a rosemary, an oregano, kind of any seasoning you want, but I like a blend of that. So I'm gonna go in with my Italian seasoning right on top of our little puff pastry bites, just like so. Ooh, these are gonna be delicious. All right, we are popping these into our oven, maybe like 10 minutes at 350. Okay, our puff pastry croutons are done. Our chicken pot pie soup is also done. And oh my gosh, this has been cooking for about three hours. I did end up turning it on high. It smells so delicious. I'm gonna go in with my ladle, of course. I mean, look at how amazing that looks. It looks just like a pot pie too. Oh, 
This is like one of my favorite recipes to make. Great to make and then freeze as well. Gonna be so perfect for the holidays too with any like Thanksgiving leftovers and stuff like that. I'm gonna try and get some of that juice. Oh, I mean, look at how decadent that looks. It looks so tasty. All right, now that we have that nice and ready, I'm gonna come over with our puff pastry croutons. And this is the best part. I'm just gonna pop some of those right onto our chicken pot pie soup. I mean, look at how cute. It's like the pie crust. Super easy to do and just kind of elevates that delicious, yummy chicken pot pie to the next level. I mean, if someone were to serve me this, I'd be wildly impressed. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, let me look at those. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. 